we're about to have a huge adventure. We're here in beautiful New York City, really close to Manhattan, Soho, all those happy spots. We departed at uh, We're, we're in morning, Manhattan. Which means we're close, oh, you could say. Are we far away if we're close? No, obviously. Anyhow, I would like to call your attention before we continue to this ratchet door. It's really bothering me. But anyway, left Charlottesville, 8 o'clock this morning. My car was frozen. It was frozen shut, and you couldn't see anything. Picked up my man, Josh Jensen, behind the camera right now. Made it in about two hours to his home in Clifton. Very nice, by the way. Excellent clear story lighting. Got to meet Mrs. Jensen, who gave us these wonderful chocolate chip cookies. Uh, strongly recommend those as well. Um, Clifton, charming place, by the way. Uh, and after a short ride to Dulles, we made it quickly and easily through security and then hopped on our plane, which only took like 40 minutes to get um, from Dallas to New York, which is pretty crazy. So we were in the green on time for sure. Um, after that, cruised around New York, got to this amazing loft apartment in here. Super hype. It's going to be a tight bed. I'll tell you what, it's really small. Um, <laughs> Anyhow, uh, it's beautiful here. Soho is nice. Uh, cruised around, made it to the Apple store. Got the iPhone 10. Josh, my man, living large. It's incredible. It's The screen is amazing. More on that later, maybe, probably. Who knows? Um, so after exploring Soho, check out the Supreme store. Uh, oh, also, other big news. Shout out to Josh, because he made it into the London fashion program. Let's go! Obviously, I'm excited. He's like probably 10 times more excited. Um, so imagine him doing that and like throwing things. And yeah. Uh, anyhow, we are about to depart for this mystery concert, which he will not tell me about. I have no idea who it is, what it's going to be like. Um, I just know it's in Brooklyn and we're heading together. So we'll catch you on the flip side. Mine does, don't worry. You know, just here in New York, greatest city on the planet, perhaps, and we found this bear lying alone in the rubbish bin. And he, 
He does not deserve to be lying alone in the rubbish bin. We have rescued him and we are taking him back. You're welcome, world. I couldn't. Oh, dude, the pink glow. There's something really. <laughs> We had a little bit of a slow start this morning, had to get some stuff taken care of. Uh, but we just got lunch, eating on the steps of the Met, all that gossip girl. And Sawyer decided he wanted to be on the other side of the post as me. Uh, a little separation here, been spending too much time together, so he's sitting over there drinking his orangina. into Brooklyn going to this amazing coffee shop and when out of the corner of our eye we see the Supreme store unmarked at about 10:30 in the a.m. so we walk four blocks down by the Riverside where they have this alternate line and we were the 21st and 20th in line respectively we roll up to the store pretty hype uh, and we see they have a few things that maybe aren't on the website and some uh, a lot of little goodies we roll in pick up a pair of chopsticks the mug the knife and some nice reflective stickers which we just already sold at least one of the mugs for more than double what we bought it for. So that's for days. Let's go. I mean only wins. Dollars per hour ratio there. I get to hang with my bro in Brooklyn and make 35 bucks in an hour easily. Like doesn't get too much better than that. It's a pretty hype job. We are now in Brooklyn, uh, actually we've been in Brooklyn for a little while, and we hit up the local Kith store here, which is a beautiful, beautiful store. They have some of the most amazing colors. Beyond just selling clothing, they also sell ice cream. They have this like cereal slash ice cream bar, and it's amazing. And uh, he got a milkshake, I got like this ice cream bowl thing. And speaking of eating, we already spotted our lunch spot. We eyed a little macaroni and cheese joint. We're walking off our ice cream now and then we'll dip macaroni and cheese later. <laughs> Got some mac and cheese at this barbecue place. It was pretty solid. Uh, but now I'm trying to have this like, now I have this post food coma thing going on. So I'm trying to wake ourselves heading to Soho. Yay.
So I have not been vlogging that much. I've really been trying to focus on living in the moment and enjoying what's going on around me. We met up with Corinne tonight. She's been in several vlogs before. Amazing person. And as you might have noticed, she dyed my hair colored. I don't remember which is the term that means that it's more professional. I think it's colored is like if you do it in your kitchen and dyed is from a salon. So we dyed. Dyed my hair? Anyway, she gave me this awesome like silvery highlight thing. It's a little blue right now, but it should be more like silver, ashy, white, gray thing going on. Um, we've been talking about it for a little while and I just wanted something fun and different. So got some cool highlights. So those will start to do their thing soon. I'm super tired, it's like two in the morning. Uh, and we have plenty of fun stuff planned for tomorrow. But I think that's it for today. Good night. Tell us about all the wins for today. Oh, today is a lovely day. How should we start? Well, you know, I woke up and there was Josh besides me in the bed. So that was, that was exciting. It was nice and warm, but I had to get out and it was cold and that was sad. But we woke up around 9, 9.20 today, headed over to Brooklyn on the L train, which was nice and expedient. Walked over to the Riverside by Supreme, and we were in the seventh and eighth people in line, as predicted by yours truly. Well, I guess six and seven, to be fair. But, uh, Wait in line for about 30 minutes, got to watch my boys Chelsea crush into the game. And uh, fast forward to Supreme Store, chilling out front, they roll up the giant screen and we see the blue. They have the blue and the chopsticks and the thermos. If you tried to snag, did not get it, but I managed to walk away with the blimp and the chopsticks as did Josh and I snagged the beanie as well. Incredible day, uh, everything's gonna sell well, and now here we are in the rabbit hole, hold this beautiful brick wall. And it looks like it's packed in here, so it looks like it's gonna be a good spot. We met up with Corinne and got dough, which is a how do I even describe it? It's like it's like okay, it's like an ice cream store, but instead of ice cream, it's cookie dough. And so you can get cookie dough with like toppings and all different flavors of cookie dough. We just eat it raw in like an ice cream cone or bowl. I got a cone because I'm kind of a baller, and it was just amazing. And uh, then we just wandered around Chinatown a little bit really don't like Chinatown. People are super pushy there and there's a ton of people. It wasn't great, but then we mailed a package. Sawyer and I sold a couple of things from our Supreme Travels, so we got those shipped out. Fast service, always great. And uh, now Corinne had a party to go to, so she has left this adventure and we are wandering around an amazing, beautiful mall here, Westfield Mall. Westfield's like not that great a name for it, but it's a cool place. Well, I am trying to meet up with all my good pals here in New York, and the next friend on the agenda is Miss Allie Wheeland. I met her at the Romeo Hunt, Romeo Hunt, I don't know how to pronounce it, fashion show, and we only had like face-to-face -face conversation for maybe five minutes, but we Snapchat pretty frequently, maybe like, not every day, but pretty frequently, and so meeting up, getting dinner with her at the park. Sawyer is getting dinner somewhere else. I don't know exactly what his plans are, but we'll meet up afterwards for ice cream. Good morning, New York. Last night, we got, I got dinner with a friend. Sawyer got, I don't know, you tell them what you did. Well, I went to this little French bar and had the best plate of charcuterie I've ever had for half price. And it was marvelous and they spoke French there, so I truly thrived, thrived. He was pretending that he was French like all day. He's not. I don't know what he's doing. You don't know that. I do know that. No, camera people camera don't. Camera people that. don't. Okay. You, that's fair. That's you fair. Do. You definitely do. Yeah, I hope. By this point. Heading to church now. Little song. My favorite. Let's go.
Good morning. It is now Monday. This is our last full day in New York City. Sawyer went on, he had some work to do, so he's in a coffee shop in Brooklyn right now. I'm heading that way. We're catching the Supreme store opening again, trying to catch all the exciting stuff. And uh, then we really don't have much planned later, except tonight we have reservations at Nobu, which is a really fancy Japanese sushi restaurant. So super pumped for that. Does this mean you're filming me? Yeah. Well, that's exciting. I hope you include this part. Well, where to start? Except it's been an incredible day so far. Your boy woke up super early this morning, headed over to Devotion Wait, Coffee Shop. Wait, I thought I was their boy. That, actually over there, is their boy. I think neither of us can beat out this alpaca. Um, so to clarify, I, not your boy, uh, went to Brooklyn a little early, got some work done in Devotion Coffee Shop. Really beautiful, has this exquisite green wall inside and is really open and this amazing skylight and is really close to the Supreme store. So it made sense to go there in the morning. Then Jay joined me and we uh, were the first and second in the Supreme line respectively, able to cop another pair of chopsticks, so many chopsticks, and of course the blimp. Um, and it was super chill today. No. There's one security dude, but not really uh, a whole lot going on there, so really easy. And then we, uh, we found one of Jay's pals, a model, and he hooked us up at his apartment. We grabbed a few tacos and waffles and whatnot from this little, uh, little restaurant in Brooklyn. Um, headed over to his pad, and this guy is crazy. I mean, he chills in, like, Yeezy shoes, Gucci bag, and that's when he's just, quote, chilling. Um, <laughs> what a guy. So we, we, we played pool and talked a little bit and he told us about how when he's not working he plays like Call of Duty and sleeps 14 hours a day. So if you want to be a model that could be your life. So following that we, uh, we headed over the, the famous Brooklyn Bridge to meet Jay's boss whose name I forget. Cool dude, foreign, yet was born in the US, went to school in Italy I believe. Um, got some nice espresso, talked about life, and it was fun to see um, him and Josh interact. He struck me as a really, really cool dude. Um, we were just chilling in the office. Um, following that, we are in the uh, Midtown Uptown area, I believe, and we met another one of Josh's friends, a thespian lady uh, who just graduated from UVA. She's really cool, and went to this kind of clandestine food court where you would think since it's proximity to Times Square, it would be overrun, over just like tourists everywhere. Pretty, I mean, busy, but not packed and certainly no tourists. I mean, people doing work on laptops and whatnot and this incredible donut place where Nutella donuts, blood orange donuts, really beautiful. Definitely check it out or maybe don't because I'd rather it be a pretty, <laughs> pretty hard to find spot. Um, but that was awesome, chilled there for a couple hours and then we went to Times Square at night, of course. I mean, if you're in New York, you probably should go to Times Square, right? Especially at night. And that was busy, that was hopping. Took some sweet photos, I went to the Scoggin store and at that point we decided, we had an 8.45 reservation for dinner, but we were like, there's no way that's happening. Uh, so we took the, the one, I think, the one or two down to uh, the Wall Street area to go to Nobu. And I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, one of the best eating experiences we've ever had. Um, the tuna I had was so, it almost melted in your mouth. It was like butter tuna, I mean, truly exquisite. And then Jay, I think he got maybe the best item on the menu. Um, it wasn't obviously the best item, but upon ordering it, I think we quickly realized that he hit the jackpot. Um, it was this 
spicy crab dish cooked in this beautiful kind of skillet bowl with oddly enough some cheese on top and a little bit of caviar and some greens mixed in and it was it was delightful um, truly amazing easily yeah one of the gems of the menu so we definitely uh, we balled out <laughs> pretty hard there that was a big eating <laughs> night for sure uh, no regrets just happiness um, and then to cap it off we figured we need to go to an equally incredible dessert place of course so we found this milkshake um, milkshake bar I forget what it's called perhaps Josh will edit it or stick the name right here that's what I want you to do I want you to stick it in glowing letters right here um, this is where we went and if he doesn't I'll look like an idiot uh, not that I don't already but <laughs> We got, my milkshake was called, fittingly, Mr. Grumpy, uh, and Josh got the you choose, so he just let the people build it for him, um, and it turned out to be the whatever, to be specific, um, and he ended up getting this honeysuckle milkshake, and it was really beautiful, they had things on the outside of these mug glasses, like a sprinkle cascade down the side, and honestly, yeah, the most aesthetically pleasing milkshake I've ever seen, and then tasted as well. They didn't last too long. So that was about 45 minutes ago and then we ditched the mate bus, our favorite bus for the M9. Rode that back here and now we're chilling in the apartments. Our last night together. Sad. It's definitely going to be a lot colder in the nights to come. But still got some time in New York so it's not over yet. 